The September 11th attack set off alarm bells among some employees of NOS Communications. Employees told the I-Team they recalled that beginning in April, they sold phone time to a Middle Eastern man living first in New Jersey, then in Florida, then in Virginia, all states which have been linked to known terrorist suspects. The client specifically and repeatedly asked NOS whether the company would keep records of his calls discreet and confidential. In July, the man used his NOS package to make about $2,000 worth of calls to Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Europe, the employees say. But in August, in the days leading up to the attacks, the man's NOS phone bill jumped from $2,000 to an estimated $20,000, with the bulk of the calls supposedly directed to Afghanistan. One employee says the man even called up to seek a cheaper rate to Afghanistan. In addition, the Middle Eastern man allegedly purchased a website that featured on its cover page the twin towers collapsing. NOS employees called the FBI to report this and on September 14th agents visited NOS, interviewed workers and carted away telephone and computer records. A spokesman for NOS confirms the company gave records to the FBI and that the client in question's big jump in phone calls in one month did raise red flags. He also confirmed the existence of the website with the crumbling towers. But the spokesman says the information ultimately led nowhere. The NOS client, he says, is a publicly traded company not linked to terrorists, adding there may have been identity confusion. Sources at the FBI confirmed the feds took records from NOS, but it does not appear those records have yet led to any of the known terrorist suspects, in particular to those who made repeated visits to Las Vegas during the summer months.